What's going on nation? UKVP here and welcome. Today I bring you finally something by Mike Vapes. This is the Eclipse Dual RTA and this one was bought by me with the Chinese New Year you know in China and all the things you know they had a lockdown as well everything is a little bit slow at the moment and to be honest I'm kind of glad because it is a lot of stuff that I wanted to try and when I have to order stuff here that I'm not gonna have time obviously I'm not gonna be able to go there and spend the money just to be sit or wait months till I finally have a chance to grab it. But yeah, I did grab and I actually grabbed two products by Mike Vape. Yes, also bought an RTA that is going to be coming pretty soon. And um, because I do love RTAs, I should gone. Uh, I think I was looking for the single coil, but it was not available. So I went to the dual coil. This thing hits hard. It is a very, very good RTA. It is a 25 mil dual coil, obviously. It's going to hold a lot tons of juice in here uh, obviously very well made because it is mike vapes but obviously we got to all of that on the up and close so what we're we gonna do now we're gonna dive down okay and here is the box where your eclipse dual comes in very beautiful box and very different inside that box you're gonna get some cotton and two coils with all the specs on the front you're also gonna get a six ml's a bubble glass, a user manual, and you're gonna get a bunch of o-rings, an extra drip tip, and some pull screws. And before I forgot as well, you're gonna get a toily, a coily. I will say always say toily, a coily tool. With here is where you're gonna cut your coils to have the perfect length. And here is your main event, the Eclipse Dual RTA. So it is a 25 mil diameter tank is gonna hold 4 ml of juice with the straight glass gonna have a beautiful 810 drip tip on the top and all your 810 will be compatible here you're also gonna have that extra one to um, fill up the tank you just do kind of a quarter of a turn and it kind of has this snappy going on feels very very nice you're gonna have your gasket you're gonna have a spare one as well big filling ports right there if you go to the bottom you're gonna have your airflow adjustment so if you turn you're first gonna be presented with your honeycomb uh, airflow as you can see if you keep going you're gonna have fully uh, open airflow and also access to your pull screws we're gonna see that in a second and the airflow has a stopper on both sides like i say <clears throat> 25 mil diameter Eclipse Dual RTA uh, designed by Mike Vapes and obviously manufactured by uh, Yatch Vape. The airflow ring, it is removable. Um, obviously, you have to close it completely to be able to remove it. You know, if you want to have that extra cleaning uh, there or anything like that. So, pull it back and when it's in place and working, it's not going to go anywhere. If you keep turning... You're gonna have access to your chimney now here is where the things become very interesting look at this chimney extremely extremely short um i think it's probably the first time that i see a chimney that is so short and i think that is what makes this have an amazing amazing flavor um they have an extension i don't know if it's for the single coil or the dual coil i mean this one already holds six ml of juice uh so i'm not 100 percent sure if the extension uh, is for the the dual or the single or if you work on bolts to have even more juice all the machining in here is just perfect this is the kind of sandblasted uh, gray but you're gonna have many many options gonna have your logo right there that is pretty discreet and here you're gonna be presented with your deck now the deck it is um it is pretty simple to be honest you're gonna have your airflow that comes from the bottom through the sides as you can see you're gonna have three slots on the top and a big slot on the bottom on both sides you put your coils in there and you're good to go you're also gonna have your wicking channels on each side it's not gonna be very deep to pull a lot of cotton so you're not gonna need a lot of cotton but to be honest i haven't experiencing no issues with you know uh, leaking on me or even dry hits if i put too much cotton it is kind of easy to um to wick this one and it has this o-ring right here that every time is kind of wet with juice it always pops out it's not big issue uh but yeah i will uh, i want to mention that every time 
you want to, you know, replace um, the cotton, rewick or, or anything like that, it always pops out. Uh, it's not extremely tight in there. Not a big issue, but always keep your eyes open. You don't want to lose it. That's pretty much it. I think we're going to um, use the coils and the cotton they provide and put a beautiful build in here. Okay, so if you don't want to, like, have guessing oops uh how long you have to cut your legs i will definitely recommend to use this toily cool um and um toily cool my god uh coily tool and cut it where they they uh, tell you to cut because um i think it's just the perfect height that you need obviously cut it there and it's gonna be the perfect height do that for both of them now just drop them there very easy tie up now like i say your access to your screws gonna be uh, through the airflow right there you want to have it wide open um now the the ring can be removable and that is i think to just in case you have to replace them you know if they strip or anything like that now they are massive screws i can't really see them stripping but just in case you need to do something, uh, the airflow comes out. I think that's to have a little bit better access to them. Okay, nothing complicated here. Now, obviously, you want to put them in place. I'm actually going to use a screwdriver. Okay, now they're in place. We're going to remove the hot spots. They are 3 mil diameter. So, um, okay, so they were reading a little bit too low um, for... Um, and this noise that you're hearing is probably a left because I did cleaning so it might be a little bit of water there uh, so yeah they were reading a little bit too low for the other mod uh, I think they were reading 0 0.09 and it goes only down to 1 ohm so a uh, 0.1 ohm okay they pretty much glowing perfectly now back to the other mod and now they're reading 0.16 so just perfect they always do that you know if you have issues um you're always gonna find out that um sometimes before you remove the hotspots they read different uh i shouldn't have removed that yeah that was a bad idea okay so finally put the, the first one here yeah, don't be a like me and remove this plastic bit because you're gonna get in trouble to get that cotton in it is nice and tight there now obviously what you want to do a nice comb okay now like i say not gonna need a lot of cotton on this one also you're not gonna have a lot of space to be honest so you can cut it like this obviously if you're a little bit afraid you always can cut up more than you need and then obviously adjust as you need. Okay, I think it's kind of perfect there. Even if I had gone a little bit less, um, wouldn't have been a problem to be honest. Because this cotton, it is kind of thick. So I'm actually going to comb a bit more here. Okay, I think it's kind of perfect now. Now obviously gonna throw some juice <clears throat> and we have those vapors happening now you know me gonna use full capacity so bubble glass there we go fill up the tank perfect there Close it and you're good to go. And we did cover up everything. We're gonna come back on top and we're gonna run to pros and cons. All right, and we're back. And that was the up and close for the Eclipse Duel by Yach Vape and Mike Vapes. Uh, so let's go to pros and cons. Now, this thing is gonna be obviously available for quite a while. Like I say, I only had time to grab it now. Uh, so if you do a Google search, you're definitely going to find it. You're going to have the single coil and the dual coil, but obviously we're only looking at the dual coil today. Uh, pros and cons, I have one con, one con only, and it is kind of nicky-picky. Nicky-picky is every time you know you're going to re-wake or 
take the deck that uh, bottom o-ring comes off and i know if mike vapes is watching that he's gonna he's gonna probably go here we go again with the o-rings but yeah mike it is true uh it is a big deal absolutely not um just make sure you don't lose it you're gonna have spare ones but you don't want to keep losing them because in the future you might not gonna be able to find one to put here so make sure you because it stays on the glass and you practically can't see it so make sure you don't lose it when you're cleaning something and it goes down the drain other than that this thing is perfect and i like always mike vapes really really cover his back on everything now starting with the fact that i get two drip tips so for people who want more um uh, a smaller and more restricted drip tip you're gonna have an extra one there the 810 or all your 810s fit here just perfect this one is is beautiful i do love this drip tip right here the feeling method on this thing you know it has that click it is very very you can have that satisfaction when it does that click it has big ports juice capa capacity it is insane six mls on the bubble glass that is actually not massive bubble glass it is kind of sexy it kind of combines with the tank to be honest it actually looks better the bubble glass um than the straight glass and most of the tanks normally when you pour bubble glass it doesn't look good like that but this one looks beautiful gonna have two type of air flows now my clips is a big fan of air uh, on a comb you're gonna have the option for honeycomb all completely wide open I like it completely wide open because it's gonna be, um, depending on the coils I use on the inside, this is three mil diameter coils. You're gonna have that kind of restricted um, direct lung. It is very, very nice. And obviously if you go to the uh, honeycomb, it's gonna be a little bit more restricted, but also a little bit more smoother. Um, do you love the fact that you went and put the, the um, screws inside the airflow because that's gonna allow him to have a lot of space to work with the deck. Uh, you don't have the screws there, you don't have to, to think about them, beat them on the bobber is just fine. You're also gonna be able to pop the control ring, the airflow control ring, if you have by any chance a screw that is gonna strip on you to be more uh, too easy to, to fit it up there. And they're gonna give you, I think, extra grub screws do love the flat heads, they look very, very nice. Very easy to build, very easy to wick. It doesn't have a very deep um, wells to pull your wicks, but it's not big of an issue because this is the kind of Altier that you don't have to be 100% perfect. Otherwise you're gonna have, you know, like leaking or, or dry hits. This one, you're gonna have kind of uh, a bit of space to play there without having any issues. All the construction machining just perfect here. The Yachtvape also done a very good job on manufacturing this because it is very, very good. And when it comes to vape, this thing really hits. So at this point, I have a 0.16. That's a cause they provide 47 watts. And I have the biggest airflow wide open. This thing is good. Just perfect. Now this thing needs a bit more watts let's go 60 watts sweet spot for me right here i think you could go even more um you know depending obviously what builds you, you do there now let's go to the honeycomb wide open honeycomb it's going to be slightly more restricted obviously the flavor pops even more uh, vaping on the honeycomb i probably will do 55 or 50 watts let's try 50 watts yeah i think 55 will be perfect on this one um so yeah you're gonna have a lot of choices for the airflow uh the flavor on this thing is just amazing you know they have that cham that chimney that is very reduced also gonna allow to have more juice but all to keep everything compact to give you that extra airflow now like i said the extra the extension chimney i don't know if you work on this one or on the single or on both but six mls it is quite a lot to be honest this thing match perfect with this vaporess actually beautiful beautiful tank another great job by mike vapes i wouldn't expect less from him to be honest all these products are very very good and this one it is definitely no exception now if you want to join my patreon to have access to exclusive content uh, early content monthly giveaways all that good stuff the link is going to be down below we're going to wrap it up thanks for everything don't forget to like and subscribe i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time till then keep vaping